650, our top stories here at Sunrise. Breaking overnight, Ohio businessman Vivek Ramaswamy is dropping out of the race for the White House, officially suspending his presidential campaign. He's now officially ended his bid for the Republican nomination after he came fourth in the Iowa caucuses. During last night's speech, he congratulated former President Donald Trump on winning the Iowa caucus and saying that Trump would have his full endorsement for the presidency going forward. Well, who needs a seat when you're just going to be on your feet cheering the whole time inside the huddle now? Bill's Mafia is certainly showing up in force to watch that playoff opening victory. Yeah, you just stand up because there's two feet of snow on your seat. The Bills I are moving know. on to the it's divisional wonderful. round after beating the Steelers at home 31-17. The Bills captured an early lead but then kind of limped to the finish line last night. The offense came out and scored touchdowns on three of the first five possessions. The first two were passing touchdowns to Dawson Knox and Dalton King. Cade. The third was a 52-yard touchdown run by Josh Allen, and that one set a franchise record for the longest playoff run in Bills history. How about this one with the juke for the touchdown? It's the Kansas City Chiefs now coming to Orchard Park Sunday night. Kickoff at 6.30, and you will see that right here on News 8. Also happening today, you, the community, you can help name Rochester City School District's new schools, and it's all part of that reorganization plan we've been telling you about. Since back in October, the RCSD Board of Education did announce they'd be closing 11 schools this year, plan to reopen five. So the naming forum you can participate in, it starts tonight at 5 p.m. at RCSD's central office, that is on West Broad Street. At the Capitol this morning, Governor Hochul will unveil her plans for the upcoming fiscal year 2025 budget. Following last week's State of the State address, the spending plan is expected to pour more state dollars into housing, public safety, clean energy, and education. Last year's budget was about $230 billion. According to the state's Quick Start report, New York faces a budget shortfall, a deficit of more than $4 billion. The presentation for the new year begins at 1030. Well, staying on our state capital news, one of Governor Kathy Hochul's top priorities she has said this year is to focus on the issue of mental health. After recently announcing proposals to support treatment, Hochul says she wants to make sure New Yorkers are getting the support they need through their insurance companies. A report released last month from the state attorney general's office found a majority of insurance companies had the wrong info on their mental health provider directories. The numbers were incorrect. They did not provide service. Um, they only provided um, service that was um, virtual. They did not provide pediatric service, geriatric service. Um, they could not be reached. They were no longer accepting new patients, or they did not even exist. The head of the New York Health Plan Association says insurers work hard to ensure their directories stay up to date and are accurate, adding they are committed to working with the AG and the governor to ensure patients have fair access to their services. We have learned it was 50-year-old Raymond Noel. The man investigators say exchanged gunfire with a veteran police officer Sunday in East Rochester. Investigators do confirm that Officer Brad Steve and Noel were both shot. Officer Steve saved by his tactical vest. Steve has since been released from the hospital, currently at home on paid administrative leave, but no word on the condition of the suspect yet. Now, according to ERPD, as News 8 has reported, Steve and another officer, Kyle Walsh, responded to a domestic recall on Garfield Street Sunday. That is when the officers reportedly encountered Noel, saying that he had a gun and he was ordered to remove his hands from his pockets. The officers claim Noel ignored those commands, walked in the home, then pulled out the gun, so Officer Steve fired first in response, hitting that suspect. Police then say Noel fired multiple shots back at police. More updates on our website. A man arrested at the Red Roof Inn in Gates over the weekend after police say he was firing a gun at random while just sitting in his room and shot another person. This was around 1 a.m. Saturday. Police went to the hotel for the shooting. They say 39-year-old Remington Newton was watching TV and fired his gun through the door. They then located a victim in a room over with a gunshot wound to the leg. That person's shot is expected to recover. Five minutes to go until 7 o'clock. Your sunrise traffic here on this Tuesday morning. Getting ready for back to school, back to work for everybody. Our roads and expressways all good to go. It's been that way all morning. Let's keep it that way this Tuesday. Cold start. No ice to worry about on the roads. That sunshine yesterday helped. We'll check the forecast in a second with James. 
Well, Easter, still more than two months away, but love it or hate it, the popular marshmallow chicks uh, shaped candy, the Peeps, they're already back. With four new flavors, the Peeps Delights S'mores flavored treats, they'll be available nationwide. Three others exclusive to certain stores, Rice Krispie Treats flavor, that's only going to be sold at Walmart. Then the Icy Blue Raspberry flavor, those will only be sold at Target. Finally, mm. the Sour Strawberry flavor will be sold exclusively at Kroger locations. So uh, not getting any of those up here in the north. I don't think you guys even have Kroger up here. Not going to get any of those, period. <laughs> peeps, <laughs> terrible. We can do a what's up rock question. Yeah, yeah do you or yeah. do you hate peeps? I, I think the s'mores ones, I mean, you know, yeah. marshmallow and chocolate, I could be easily convinced in yeah. that one, but ices and yeah. raspberries yeah. and no. strawberries, why? What? Just yeah. stop it. Was stop that the it. store yesterday doing some shopping? Good place to be when it was so cold. Easter stuff already out. Yeah, yeah. man, why not? Got to take advantage of the sales while you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, looking at every time I go into Home Depot, I see the clearance Christmas stuff. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, that might be a good buy right now. I'm awesome waiting wrapping the, paper. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> waiting for that clearance Valentine's Day chocolate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, numbers around 20 this afternoon. We've got snow showers around. Uh, take it slow, maybe reduce visibility today. About an inch on the ground or so. We're cold tomorrow. It's a lake effect day tomorrow. And uh, we'll finally see that warm up uh, by the end of the weekend. 36 a week from today. Yeah. Shorts weather. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Just wow. about. Well, thank you so much for sharing your morning with us here, everybody. News 8 at Sunrise. CBS Morning starts at 7. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.